Welcome back, fellows. I'm sure you recall that if statement thing that we used to evaluate a certain situation in a cell and then get outcomes. This was the logical statement, and for, for a few of us, it was pretty much um, difficult to, to comprehend and then apply it in our excels. For example, the logical statement is that if I eat apple, then the result, if it is true, means if I eat apple, the result is true and I get healthy. And if the result is false, which means I don't eat apple, then I get sick. And then there was a further complicated situation, nested if statement, meaning that all the if statements were clubbed into one if statement. So it was a kind of a further complicated status. But I'm not here today to demonstrate this kind of complicated situations for you. Rather, I'm going to introduce you to switch feature. That is uh, relatively easier and you will see how easy it is. So if in a case we have a situation, we have different numbers, for example, 10, 20, 30, and we would like to reflect the results and switch the number into a situation. I will do it here, for example, switch. This is the syntax a function. Um, I will give the cell reference and then I will say if this is the switch, switch the value of if it is 10, then replace it with good. If it is 20, um, then replace it with uh, better. And if it is 30, then replace it uh, with best. And, 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 and if none of these statements are true, then um, we can say still checking. There we go. That's more or less it. I will close the statement here and I've got the results. I will plug in here 40 as well because 40 is not in the list that we demonstrated here. So we need to see if it shows still checking or not. I will drag it down and you can see good, better, best and still checking based on the data we provided here. So it's a very simplified if statement. I'll call it that if it is 10, show good. If it is 20, show better. If it is 30, show best. And if there is nothing else amongst these, then it should be still checking. So for example, if I ch change this with 50, the result will remain the same. And if I change this with 100, the result will be still checking. So that was kind of a good quick analysis on switch statement, fellas. Do share your ideas in the comments and, this, and, and applications you did of this statement into your, your workbooks. You can put it on dates, you can put it on days, weeks, months, etc., etc. There is no limit for creativity. So let's do it, show some results, and, and uh, let's see what we have. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and stay connected with our channel for more videos. Looking forward to connect with you again. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye. Fellas, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such videos and also click on the bell icon and get all the new notifications of my upcoming videos. Stay tuned and looking forward to see you in the next video.